Hey, welcome back to Winged Horse Garage. This is Jeff, and I'm going to talk to you about something today. If you're the second hand owner of a Fiero, you will relate to what I'm talking about. I'm talking about all the little things that the previous owners have done to your car, but you don't know what they did. So you have to start from scratch. You have to check out your fluids. You have to check out your ignition components. And you need to check out your timing. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Setting the base timing on a 2.8 liter V6 Fiero. And every single Fiero that's ever been made has the ALDL in the same place. It's underneath this plate right here. Okay, so we're taking these out. My screws have never been replaced. So they're the factory star shape screws. A lot of people replace these with Phillips screws. But I think it's kind of cool to have 35 year old screws in there. So I'm going to keep these original ones in here when we take this plate out. And you can see down here is the ALDL. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of wire and we're going to clip it about the length of a paper clip so you could actually use a paper clip for this. But it, uh, we're going to bend it in a V shape so that we can ground these together. It's going to be the A and B ports which are right down here okay eyes don't fail me now where are you here and here <laughs> Goodness gracious. Now you may be wondering, why do I have to remove that plate? Why do I have to put a paper clip in the ALDL? Well, the ALDL is connected to your ECM. The ECM is the brain box. It's basically the computer of your Fiero. And if you're trying to manually adjust the timing, then the computer will be fighting against you. You'll rotate the distributor cap and your computer will be like, what are you doing, Dave? I don't think you should be doing that, Dave. And you'll be like, no, how? You don't understand. I'm trying to set the base timing on this Fiero. And your computer will be like, I don't think so, Dave. So that's why you have to put the paperclip in the ALDL to trick your computer into not doing its job. Okay, now, <clears throat> if I get the camera here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the key to the accessory position. You see the service engine soon, light flashing. That's, when you see that flashing, you know that you have this grounded into the A and B connector. Okay, so that's that's proper. So don't think you did something wrong. You actually did something right when that's flashing. Okay, then now the next thing you wanna do is mark your harmonic balancer and your timing plate. So what do you mark? Well, for sake of illustration, I've got this paper plate. And your harmonic balancer has three notches, one big notch and two small slits, like paper cuts, in your harmonic balancer. You don't want to mark all three of these. You just want to mark the one big Michael Strahan gap in your harmonic balancer. What I use to mark my harmonic balancer is just some simple whiteout. Now, you can get this at Walmart, you can get this at an office supply store, or you can get this in the supply room at your company. Okay, I wouldn't suggest you do that, but it's easy to use. It's got a foam tip nowadays instead of the brush. Use this to mark your harmonic balancer and timing plate. So I believe the best way to look for that gap is to jack up the back of your Fiero and look around your harmonic balancer. Your harmonic balancer is just to the left of the main pulley. If you're on the water pump side of your engine, just look down past the water pump pulley to that big main pulley and to the left of there, 
that's your harmonic balancer. Okay, as you can see, we've marked the big notch in the harmonic balancer. So now you can see that Ben has put the whiteout on top of the 10 degree mark. All right, just to the left of that is 12, just to the right of that is eight. Right in that valley right there is a, the 10 degree mark. And that's what we're gonna be using as a reference when we go ahead and time this engine. Okay, now that you've done that, the next thing you need to do is loosen up the hold down for your distributor. Loosen the hold down just enough to move the distributor by hand. Okay, so to make you don't really have to. I mean, if you're you know glutton for punishment, you don't have to take off this heat shield and the coil, but you probably want to because it's really in the way of the bolt that holds down the distributor. Move this out of the way, it's two bolts. In my case, it's one bolt because I never put the original bolt back in or somebody. I don't think I ever moved this out of the way, honestly. Uh, maybe I did, I don't know. But anyway, just move this out of the way. Save yourself a lot of headaches and, you know, you can, uh, oh, wow, that came, look there. It came right out, stayed inside the socket, noise. All right, so we're gonna move this coil out of the way, flip it up here on top. We're gonna move this heat shield out of the way. And then, it's really dark, but right down inside of there, you should be able to see that bolt. And I can't hardly see it myself. Oh, right there, there you go, thank you, Ben. Right there is that bolt. It's the hold down right here the hold down for the distributor right there okay so we're gonna loosen that up if I turn this the right way that would help lefty Lucy and just just enough so that you can turn the distributor by hand let me see if I can do that here yep okay and that's all you don't need to do any any farther than that Okay, now that you've done that, what we want to do is set up our timing light. The timing light will shoot a beam of light in time with the engine onto the harmonic balancer and onto the timing plate to show you whether you're in time or not. Okay, now, so to, to set things up here, I've got my old school timing light here. It looks like uh, something out of Buck Rogers from the 25th century. It's an 80s reference. But anyway, it's hooked up red on positive black on negative and got the lead on to spark plug wire number one we just got this just has a little clip on here you clip it on there all right and what we're gonna do is start up the engine and we're gonna point this ray gun down here at that timing mark that we put on the harmonic balancer and then that little plate to show you if the car's in time or not so here we go down there with me. You see that their lines are pretty much perfect in a line. Now if Ben turns that, let's say clockwise, you'll watch that move, that mark move. Keep moving it, Ben. See that? Now move it back the other way. There you go. Perfect. perfect. No, a little bit more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So there you go. That's how you can set the base time by spinning the distributor by hand and using the timing light to gauge those marks. Okay, now that you've done all that, what you need to do is go inside, take out the paper clip, tighten down the hold down to your distributor, and you're all set. But anyway, there you go. That's how you set the base timing on a well thanks for making it to the end of the video and I really appreciate it if you would like this video subscribe to the channel and let your friends know about winged horse garage because here at winged horse garage we're keeping the 80s alive one fear at a time